when you don't have enough food, you will crave for sweet. Make sure you eat enough, okay? Don't be too ascetic because you need this temple, okay? You need it. You need it. Just don't eat for greed and glutinous reason, but eat enough so that your body function, okay? So they can use all the energy to concentrate on the inside. Because if you don't eat enough, your body craves for something. Your mind is busy thinking of food, and you can hardly concentrate. The Buddhas and his Shanghas are different. They live in different time. Okay? At that time, there's no pollution, not much temptation, not much of the so-called civilization that can bother them too much. Okay? They don't know what Mercedes is, <laughs> so they cannot even want it. <laughs> uh, the best is just to sit in a horse car. Everybody has that. <laughs> or a horse, even the best horse is just a horse. <laughs> okay, look like every other horse outside. It's not much to tempt you. Being a monk at that time, they must go out for arms. That is a normal procedure of that time, okay? Otherwise, the Buddha could also ask his father, the king, to supply him and his monks all the things that they need and more. But he wanted to follow that tradition, old tradition of monks and nuns. The monks and nuns in India, the Hindu, they still do that. They still wander around so that they don't feel attached to any place. And they uh, receive alms whenever they have. If they don't have, they just go hungry. I don't know what method they practice. But if you want to practice uh, ascetism, then just follow that, okay? If you want to practice Guan Yin method, it's a different method, okay? Uh, ascetism, you have to forego many things. You have to wear only one pair of clothes, or two maximum. One to wash, one to wear. And you eat only one time a day. Whatever is given to you, you eat. That is a different uh, method of practice, okay? You practice the method of ascetism. You will also arrive at liberation from the three worlds. That is a lot already. I mean, you go to the fourth world maximum. Okay? And maybe there, Buddha, Bodhisattva, Saint will help you to climb up more slowly. But you are liberated from the three worlds. And that is for sure. If you follow the monks and nuns' practice of ascetism, okay? You must not want anything. You must not ask for anything except what's given to you. If not given to you, you just keep quiet. And you don't have a house. You don't have an abode of comfort. You must go somewhere alone, maybe a thatch hut if somebody built it for you, or in the jungle, alone, under the tree. Then you will reach liberation and you study the Buddha Sutra, remember Buddha all the time. Whatever method you choose from Buddha as a method, you have to follow that. You cannot do anything more, truly. But if you practice Guan Yin method, you lessen your want, lessen your possession, lessen your food, for example, but you don't have to practice ascetism if you cannot, okay? If you, for example, eat one meal a day and your mind is still clear and don't always think of food, then okay. But if your mind is still craving for food, then please do not, because you cannot concentrate. And because of that, the gastric in your stomach will ruin your intestine or whatever inside. Hmm? And you make yourself sick. Capisco? Yes. Yes, no? Yes. Mm. Don't tell me. I didn't warn you. Just not too much for pleasure, but for living. Huh? Mm. And for calming your mind. Okay?